Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Cause it do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing. All right, let's do it. This is the sit down. She made man M Easy, and, and sitting next to me this afternoon is uh Platinum Sound, <laughs> Platinum Boy, recording artist. Uh, not artist. Let me let me let me let me say. Uh, you trying producer. to speak something into existence? You might be. Listen, I haven't seen you in a while. There's some things I want to talk about. Okay. So, okay. Oh, you could be an artist at this point. Oh man. Are you? No. I'm a day in the building, lady. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good to see you, my brother. Absolutely. Likewise. This is my How brother. Like, this is this is my brother. Congrats on everything. I see you moving and shaking. <sighs> Man, we ain't done yet, son. Okay. 2018, but listen. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Let's talk about What's you. What's up, man? Let's talk about you. What's up? How you been? I'm blessed. I can't complain. You been know, on December, tour? December is the busiest year, uh, the busiest month of the year to me. Why? I don't know. It's like if anything you got unfinished, you, you you finish musically. You know, normally the big dogs drop the albums around this time, so it's like, okay, am I, am I on this now? Am I not? Mm. You know, you, you try to get the last minute checks of all of the labels yeah, and yeah, the yeah. artists that owe your money. See me, fourth quarter is already shut down. See, by this time I'm already ready for the January. Like I'm setting up interviews and everything else See? and meetings for the next because we've We're already had a different level, man. Don't do that. 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 Um, so for the people that. I've been under a rock and don't know my guy Amadeus. T give me some, give me, drop some names, give me some man. credits. You know, the EA Sports. Oh, man. The yeah, Trey Songs, yeah, the Diddies. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Blessed to produce for over 70 artists. Um, I've, I've heard this spiel. Yeah, I've heard this spiel. Yeah, he knows. Uh, <laughs> J Lo, Trey Songs, Chris Brown. I actually just finished uh, producing five songs. And he said the, his favorite one was the one you produced. Yeah, Yellow Tape. Yellow tape. So you know we working. Uh, Keisha all right, Cole. can I, can I ask? Right, go, sorry, go. sorry to introduce, uh, interrupt you. Can I ask? Uh, uh, an, I want an honest answer. Okay. Now, now you've done the the Here in the go. studio and in this new process. How do you feel it has changed music? Not being in the studio with the artist and um, getting that vibe and feel. I miss it. I definitely okay, miss it. Okay. I feel like it's necessary because you know, as a producer, you create the blueprint. The blueprint to me is the track. Mm -hmm. You know, before any song is created, you know, you unless you create the song and the track together, the track is what kind of gives you the idea or sets you on your path in regards to what you want to do musically. So I feel like if you have the person that created the blueprint, then the artist, the artist that comes along after the blueprint is created, adds his or her spice, you know, in regards to, you know, I, 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 I um, uh, compare it to a painting where artist comes and paints and adds its, its colors and whatever it sees in his or her mind visually, and then I feel like me putting the blueprint together, I need to come after you add your colors and add your painting to the painting, come after that and say, well, let's fix that. Let's change that. You know, if you put a little bit more blue over here, mm -hmm. that might look a little better. If you add red to that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's missing. So a lot of the records that I've produced or produced with my team, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm good with, with how they sound, sometimes I'm not. I would have did this. I would have. I would have had the artist say it like that. I would have mixed that differently. I would have had that snare turned up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. The bass is, is too much bass to where it's not. It's not cutting cutting through in a clean way. So I would love to have that input and just to be in the studio and just the vibe. So I wish that would come back. I don't really seeing it happening anytime soon, no. honestly. So at the end of the day, you got to be able to adjust and, be in, and maneuver however the game is is moving. Adjust and adapt. Absolutely. I'm a days in the building to sit down. Um, was it Sports Center you had a a, a song for? ESPN, or was the, uh, first, first take. take. First that's take what it was. That's what it was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I did, I did, I've, I've scored a lot of music for uh, ESPN, so I've heard. You know, you, you've heard. You know, wh whether watching highlights of LeBron or or the Knicks or you know the Giants. Not too many highlights team. of the Knicks. Not too many. Here you go. And then not the Giants this listen, year either. We're not talking about this year. I'm talking about in general. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, listen, I'm a Porzingis fan. I think he's gonna be a no, top a five player in the league problem. before it's all said and done. I I like Porzingis a lot. It's just rest them cats. Mm. Listen, I listen. I almost was about to to to, and I'm not into giving up, but I didn't like how they treated Melo. I didn't like how they treated Melo. I wasn't sure this year whether I was gonna be a fan or not because how they treated him. So, you know, I, I've, I've sort of been watching, but not really. That's I'm how I feel about the Giants, bro. No, I'm, I ain't going to win, but I ain't going to uh, uh, um, yeah, I mean, Ben McAdoo, yeah, if I catch go. you in the streets, God, <laughs> you got five minutes for me, my G. And you know what I mean. If you know what I mean by five minutes, you better go ask somebody, y'all. Yo. You owe me five minutes for the way you treat oh, my quarterback, man. man. That's a two-time Super Bowl MVP. Yeah. You just... Anyways. Disrespectful. Just, you're you're right. about I'm a dad. I want you to... Man. You know, I don't want you to uh, bust, uh, bust a blood vessel or nothing. Yo, man. 
I was just yeah. Usa, that's my, that's Usa, my, Usa. That's my quarterback. I know, man. It's back in the building. It's to sit down. But you know what though? You know, and I said this to my queen earlier. Like, what I do like mm-hmm. is the fact that he's the first black quarterback to to start in the position in regards to the New York Giants. Oh, now, Gino, I do like that for the culture, for the for, for the culture, culture, for our I'll race. Give you that. I give you that. For what we what's gonna happen? With, what's gonna happen when he's zero five? What's that gonna do for the culture? Now what? Now, now what if he goes out there and shuts it down? See, so you what if he goes out there and is on fire? No doubt, and 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 the earth is flat. <laughs> We gotta believe, him. We gotta believe. Okay, let's get back to this interview. He wanted us. More, in- more interesting things to come. He wanted us than what the Giants are putting out on the goddamn field. <laughs> Talk to me about um, since since the dynamic in the studio has changed. Mm-hmm. Um, is it is it a necessity for you and the artist to be in the studio at the same time? Like we just spoke about how right. you guys are, are in different pl- right. playing fields and whatnot. And you said you miss it. Right. Do you think it changes the quality of music? Oh, absolutely. Why? Absolutely. Again, like, you know, when you think about, let's go back. Let's go back to, you know, you know I'm always big on Puff comparisons. Go back to when Puff had Big in the studio. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when, when we when we watch Notorious and you're watching the movie and Big is kind of creating and, and doing this thing, you know, to the Juicy record and Puff comes in and goes, nah, don't, don't, nah, I need you to, need you to talk like this. I need you to say this. I need you to say that. I need this to be the topic. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, Puff left the building. Look, and, and left Big in there, and, and Big got the concept. He got what he was saying, and then after that, a smash was created. So imagine if, if Puff didn't give him the record, if Puff didn't have the idea and pointed him in, in the right direction musically and creatively to get that hit record. We wouldn't, ha- we wouldn't have Juicy. Yes, you're absolutely you right understand? So I use that example to say, man, imagine if you putting myself in with Chris, myself in with Trey, myself in. And I've been with Trey, uh, myself with Keisha Cole, or a lot of the artists that I've worked with. I just feel like it could be so much better. At the end of the day, if you have an idea, right, and you put your idea down, it could be great. Now, if you have an idea and you come over and say, man, I got this idea, I want to include you, and we include Pow, and we include this, this king right here, and we include this queen right here, that's five different ideas. That's five different ways to look creatively or look into the situation where I'm going to see something different from how you see it. But couldn't that be too many hands in a pot? No. I don't agree with that. Look, 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 let's go, okay, again, let's go back to... You know, I'm, I'm a, I am one of the newer generations of the bad boy hitmen, but let's go back. You had Puff in the room, Stevie J, D-Dot, Mario Winans. Like, everybody contributed in their own way. You know, there's a lot of cats a part of the record when you when you read them credits. But <laughs> Absolutely. if you have an area of expertise, I'd rather you do that and do that and move in that area. I don't want you to come over here and do something that you don't do. I have you for that. I have him for that. I have her for that. And let everybody come in and, and, and te- as a team and put it together. So that's what I feel is missing creatively, uh, and I would again, I would love to see that come back, for, especially for the producers. Mm. Teamwork makes the dream work, yeah. like they say. Uh, Amadeus in the building, just me, man. I'm easy. There's a, lo- a lot of uh, movies coming out with mm-hmm. like songs and and, and biopics. Mm-hmm. Um, they're doing a Trey Songz biopic. Who's playing you in the Trey Songz biopic? I never heard of it. You, what, what, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They're I, about I, to do a Trey I, Songz I, biopic I, I because you, you, you were the. You, you gonna play yourself? I gotta play me, man. Only, only me could play me. Come on, God. We know. I don't know. It gotta be somebody. Somebody. It gotta be like Denzel or something, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I got, I got a lot of moves. I got a lot of change. I got a lot of facial expressions. You know, you gotta be able to be a great actor. You know, to recreate King Amadeus. He might have to. He might actually have to go to music school and make sure he can play drums like me. You know what I'm saying? Pause this for once. <laughs> Studio. Hello. Who laughing over there? Hello. Yeah, I have Jasmine downstairs. Okay. All right. He sound like Moses. Didn't he? She's just gonna have to wait till this is over. <laughs> I say King Amadeus again. Right. <laughs> King Amadeus. Okay, um, all right, so 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 you're playing you in a bio. Got to do it. Uh, does that mean you want to dibble in acting, sir? I would love to. I would absolutely love to. I never really spoke about it until now. I would love to. I'm a, I, I feel I'm a character. Every time I'm around my family, my friends, people are in my circle, you know, I tend to make people laugh and enjoy themselves, and it's naturally, there's nothing written. You know what I mean? So... I think I have, uh, and I, th- I think I, look, I think I look good. I've been on TV enough times <laughs> to, right. to, I think I look good. Yes. To, to tell you know when you, when you see the young king, the young handsome king on the screen. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I didn't lost weight. I got, I'm, you know, my lady got me on this keto diet, so I didn't shed a few. You know, so when when they add the ten pounds on TV, I think I look all right. Okay. Uh, you know? now, I, now I also <laughs> see you out and about on the, on these college tours. Yes, sir. Speaking of kids, that's a, that's a yes, very sir. um 
noble thing. I would love to join you on one of these stories. Yes. Now we, we, yes. We've been trying to link yeah, up. Because you're working so hard, man. You, you know. I got the sun now. Everything's going crazy. How's the prince doing, brother? He's a genius. See? As long as you know. No, like, I mean, I, I don't say it. Like, no, I've, I've, say I've it. had a doctor come and tell me. He, we, we, was, we was on the uh, plane coming back from Virginia, mm -hmm. and I was asking him to say different words and pull out colors and all that. And this was before his, he, he had just turned two. Wow. He was saying words like ocean and toothbrush and shark and all that. And the doctor was coming, uh, we were all coming off the plane. And he goes, did he, did he end up saying ocean? I was like, exactly right. I say ocean. He said ocean. And the dude looked at me and looked at my son. He goes, you have a special son. I was like, awesome. yeah. I was like, thank you. He goes, no, 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 no. Right. He's gifted. I'm right. a podiatrist or pediatrician or whatever. Right, 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 I right. deal with children wow. all the time. I, just not, I have never ran into a two-year-old so gifted in my life. Wow. And he was up here yesterday, uh, last week with me. He was saying uh, the, the Lord's Prayer verbatim on air. Oh, like, really? Yeah, Zachariah's a little star. I'm going to make it. You got the right name. Amen. See? I chose that too. See, what became with your name and kids, man? Oh, what? See, this was like... this was this was a conversation me and the baby moms had hard oh, because yeah. she she thought she had a baby. She was a girl in there. She was calling it Zoe all day long. I was like, my mom my mom said to me, she goes, I had a son, your sister had a son, your aunt had a son. Wow. Well, we all had sons first. Be careful. I was like, I went to I was like, Maybe we should stop calling your stomach Zoe. <laughs> she was like, no, I know. My mom told me. I was like, yeah, but my mom told me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that we So when we went boys. to the when we went to the uh the uh the hospital, not no, to the doctor when we are finally for the whatever, and she said, Oh, look at that's a little penis right there. Her face, her whole brick, my, my baby mom's whole face was like, <laughs> What? Are you sure? Check it again. Yes. I'm sitting there you running around the, the hospital. You, you look at her and be like, you don't want your girl to have no penis now, right? <laughs> Was yeah. it confused? Nah. It's but Zachariah is amazing. How's the family too, though? Everybody's, man? Hey, listen, everybody's good. Son is doing good. He's 12. Oh, it's just, almost time. Just got his report card. He's doing well. Uh, yeah, he's swagging. He's, he, he's, he, into, he into video games heavy right now, so I'm just yeah, enjoying this moment. We all are at that point. Of, My of, question, do you see, is he going in daddy's footsteps? Is he, is he musically inclined? You know what? He's musically inclined. But he's into sports. He, he's, in, you know, very intelligent, very well spoken. Beautiful. We like that for um, black men out here. We you know, need that. They love him. He just great presence, great spirit, great energy. So you know, no force, no pressure. You know, growing up, I let him do everything. Yeah. You know, make beats, play drums, play the piano, the DJ, do everything, and let's and let's figure it out later. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think he's still in the process of figuring out, you know, what it is. But he's definitely into the, the video games. And you know what? I'm not mad at the video games while we're on this topic. You know, a lot of mothers are not fans of the video games. Why? The video game. I said, listen, the, the, ki the video game, you got to think with video games. It ain't like you just... It depends on what type of video game. No, he's what games into he like, No, he's into like the Call of Duties, but the camp... Ah! No, 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 look, 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 Oof. look. I just, I just the finished. The guns, the guns, man. It's all about the guns and warfare. And now it, it desensitizes kids to what blood and death means to me. I've been playing war games since I can possibly play a war game, and I ain't shooting nobody up, I ain't in no gangs, I'm not running around hotting pistols in the back seat, of my and look, so it's all, it's all about a decision, it's all about here, it's all about the mental. Absolutely. Are you a leader, or are you a follower? Obviously I'm a leader, obviously you're a leader, and we raise our princes to be leaders. I so I'm, absolutely. You can play whatever you want to play. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just know what it is. Know what it is you're doing. And we talked about, you know, the topic of guns and, mm -hmm. and violence and what's happening in the world today. And he knows what's going on. And, you know, and, and just to keep it a thousand, like I am a gun owner, but legally. You know, I had a home, I had a house, and I went and got my license. And I have two pistols. He's seen them. He's touched them. He know what it is. He knows why I got them. The reason why I have them. And they're in the safe. They're, you know, not loaded, and you, you, you gotta, you gotta show them the right way. And I've shown my son the right way. Since we're talking about that, um, the whole awakening of the culture and mm. things of what's going on, um, I think every black man, right. after the age of eighteen, mm. should legally mm. go and get your license to hold and carry a gun in this in this country. Yes, it is your where right. We live in. Right. It is your That's right. A fact. That's a Just fact. Just like they tell all these white kids, it's a fact. It's your right. Go get that. Right. Even the playing fields, man. That's all I'm saying. Just a little piece. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. You know, obviously, you know, the, the process you have to go through in order to get your license, like, they're not going to just give it to anybody, especially us. Oh, no, 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 the no, no. screening was crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, this, the amount of signatures that I needed to get it, and, you know, and they mm -hmm. saw how I was moving and, and what my, you know, no record or anything like that, thank God, and it is what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so how was Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was good. You know, somebody asked me about Thanksgiving last night, and I said Thanksgiving was good. It was happy, and there was no fights. <laughs> Um, I don't want to incriminate <laughs> any of the people that were at my Thanksgiving. 
No fights. It was family. That means it was, a, it was a grit when there's no fights and no arguments and no hair getting pulled and nobody getting called out of their name. That is a, a great Thanksgiving. All my family was there. You know, and, I, and, I, and I'll speak on this because it's, 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 I think it needs to be heard where, you know, my, my brother and I, you know, were kind of uh, not meeting eye to eye. My father and I weren't, weren't meeting eye to eye. So the last few uh, years of Thanksgiving wasn't as pleasant, wasn't as happy, wasn't as fun as this one. And, you know, we were all gathered as, as a family and I shed tears. Uh, and I'm not ashamed to say that, you know, real men cry. And it was an emotional moment for me because... You know, I thought about childhood. You know, my my father used to prepare Thanksgiving, and now my brother's a chef, and we were all there. Under oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Your brother's a chef. My brother's a chef. Where's he? Where, where's your chef at? You know what? He works, if I'm not mistaken, at the MetLife Building, uh, but he does his own thing independently, and, and he's. I would know. love to invite him to have him cater a little situation here for us. I'll pay him and all that. That'd be up? great. You hear we'll that, talk, bro? We'll Jay's talk. Kitchen. You we'll know what I'm we'll saying? We'll talk off air. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was just it was just dope to see that he prepared the meal. You know, and a huge spread, huge layout of great food. It tasted amazing. You know, cooked with love, and we were getting along, we were smiling, we were hugging, we were dancing, and that was a moment for me, you know what I'm saying? Because I haven't seen that in years, mm -hmm. and I was just really thankful and blessed that we were together as one family in, in unison and in, in, in real love, and no arguments, no hair getting pulled out, no bottles getting thrown, you know what I'm saying? So. Thanksgiving I, was great for I, me, man. I envy that, and I'm happy that for you. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell I'm you. Of a prayer for because you. Because there's different people at my situation, and I can't, I don't want to put them out. <laughs> But I'm telling you, it was a sitcom of, of Ty, Tyler Perry <laughs> proportions. You hear me? Ah. Crazy. Anyways, um, oh, well, I'm glad you're safe and you made it out. I'm glad. Ah. I don't, I don't ah. see no cuts and bruises yeah. nowhere. <laughs> we we'll have to go to court. But anyway, <laughs> um, what are you working on now? What, what's the, what's in the process? What man. you cooking up, man? Um, I go to Dre. I go to Dre's. This, this, this is the number one club out in Vegas every weekend. I have a residency out there. Oh uh, shit! As a musician, as a drummer, which is rare. So it's definitely a, a historic moment for me, you know, my company, and just musicians in a whole. Because when you think of a residency, you think of a DJ. or you think of an artist, artist you yeah. don't think of a drummer having a resi yeah. residency. So I'm out there every weekend. Um, you know, it's other artists like 50 and Trey and Chris and Migos. And a lot of artists have residency at the same club. Again, it's the number one spot out there. So I've been doing that for going on two years. So that, Music 101 College, told what you mentioned. Uh, we got to get you on that, man. You I'm, got so listen, much knowledge. I'm ready. So much wisdom, so much experience that you need to share with these youngins and just to push them to you know to live their dreams like we're living ours so oh, absolutely. we'd love to have you a part of that you know just making music man um a nice a, a few nice surprises on the way like uh, what don't do yeah, that come you, on you give, know, me, give me give me a, you give know me a, why, a little bit you pause. know why i can't you know why i can't tell you the surprises it's not even a, you know you're my brother but sometimes and we've learned that you can talk about something and you can ruin it you know what i'm saying i've talked about things you've never ruined it with me no 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 not ruin it with you Ru ruin it where that artist can change their mind and be like you know what that record don't fit no more i changed you know it's happened where i've All talked right, about wh wh it where's he from where's the artist from yeah you ain't gonna make a guess that from uh, virginia there's a lot of, there's a lot of artists from virginia don't say nothing else, don't look at me. <laughs> don't, don't. For Virginia. All right. Yeah, man. So just just working. Um, it's not Chris Brown, because Chris Brown already. Yeah, no, nah, he he done. He done. We, he wouldn't have said Trey Songs, you had to work with Trey Songs. Right. Was, man. Timbo? I don't know. Man, I can't even remember. I you know. So many records. Timbo is a producer, by the way. What what that mean? You, we said artists. So you, so, so, so other so, artists so, from VA that you haven't mentioned. You're right. But yeah, so Elliot? moving forward, uh, Oh, 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 oh. I think we got it. I think we got <laughs> just it. wrapping up. No doubt. No doubt. Just, so, just wrapping up records. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, no get doubt. ready for Christmas. Any last words? Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, We're looking forward for the Missy Elliott project on the way. What is he talking about? I didn't, I didn't even say that. Thank you for having me here. Now, nah, on a serious note, I'm really proud of you. Real talk. Not to get all, but you know, w what we don't do in our culture is is celebrate each other. As, Amen, as kings. bro, bro. Yes, you're right. You know what I'm saying? So. You moving out here, you hustling, work, you, 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 you probably ain't even sleeping. And I know, I can see it in your eyes. You know what I'm saying? So, but last night was late night, not because of work, but I, we were just, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Work, you know. <laughs> you retired, God. I'm like, there's, yeah, I'm the, yeah. there's still room for me. Yeah, I'm, there's still you, you room for me. Listen, I said, hold it down, hold it down. <laughs> Look, be safe, most importantly, be safe. We only live this life once, baby. We can roll the dice. What's up? What he said. But uh, I'm proud of you. Keep moving, Thank keep you. motivating, keep pushing, you know, keep inspiring, keep being great. You know, you got a prince that's watching you, man. You know what I mean? So it's not even that you it's not even that you're moving just for you. You know, you're moving for you, but most importantly, you're moving for him. Mm -hmm. 
every move you make, every step you take, he's watching. And it's okay to fall, and okay to it's okay to make mistakes because he needs to realize that even though my father is the king that he is, he's just he's a human being. Mm -hmm. You understand that? So keep living, keep pushing. Again, thanks for having me, man. Do, do, as we speak and we close up uh, on the awoken thing, and I, I've had conversations, and you and, and and the climate of the world we live in now, so so it's so crazy, and you wonder with slaves in Libya and, yeah. and decisions being made in government and tax cuts and all this. Right. It's like, where's the love? Facts. And I was debating something with my cousin. You met my cousin. You yeah, 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 yeah. Um, where's the love? If every decision or every thought was had love behind it, mm. you'd never go wrong. That's true. And after having that and looking into my son's eyes, it's like every decision that I know that I'm making from here on out yeah. before this decision is made. Facts. Did I, was this decision made with love in mind? I love how you put that. That's it, man. And I think if we, if everybody would have that that temperament, yeah, the way we'd be a, a lot better. And you can't worry about everybody else's thinking of ways because not everybody's perfect, but just as you mm -hmm. think of it, just think of a love, man. That's it. Facts. Man, with that being said, Shout out to my son, AJ. Shout out to AJ, man. Appreciate you. Daddy yeah, said you're doing big things yeah, out here, AJ. He's doing big things. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of you. Amen. Uh, you know, he's endured a lot. And um, I'm proud. You know what I mean? I motivate you. And more than you know, you motivate me. Hey, Amen. So that goes to all me. the sons. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so shout out to all of the princes and the princesses. My princess, too. Wherever you are. Well, she's with grandma right now. Behave, <laughs> baby. Uh, my queen. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you, you, you keep, you keep, yeah, you keep living. I'll find mine one day, God. I said, no, I'm not in no rush. Don't look. Don't look. I'm in no rush. Don't rush. If she comes, she comes. If not, I'm cool with being an uncle to a, home, uh, to a couple and daddy to one. I'm cool with that. Yes. Whatever God gives me, I'm, Shout I'm content. Shout out to easy, man. <laughs> I, was, I was out here chasing a life I thought I wanted for a long time, and then you come to the realization, stop, stop living for what you want and just live for what it is. Mm. Say that again. Say it slower so they can grasp. Stop living for what you want and start living for what it is. That's nice, man. I'm going to start. I'm making inspirational shirts soon. I told you, 2018 about to be something different, huh? I can't wait to speak to the kids you got me coming out to. Yo, listen. And I, you know, it's going to work. It's going to work so that your schedule allows. You know, you should send you the invites. Absolutely. I, I always have you. And invite. I always tell you, listen, yes, I would love to. I, yes, I really, really do. It's just timing is everything. And when, when the time happens, it's going to be the right time. Not our time, God's time. And that's, that's it. Say less. Um, give me your Instagrams. How to get in contact with you if you want to work. The man works. He yeah. sends beats out. Yeah. He's out here. Yeah. Platinum. Amadeus PBM on IG. Again, that's Amadeus PBM on IG. Uh, Platinum Boy Music on IG. Twitter, producer Amadeus. Website, www.platinumboymusicworldwide.com. It never feels like an interview when I talk to you. It just feels like we're sitting up just here just chatting, chat, man. Appreciate Pray for our giants, man. Love you. No, no. It's next year. Next year. We're about the giants. Hopefully you get a good pick. Gino! Hold it down, King. We ruin. We ruin for you. No, he's not. No, I'm not. We ruin for you. We we gonna have a meeting after. We ruin for you. At this point, you can lose them all. If you if we get Sam Darnold or Jake Rosen, I'm Gucci. I'm Gino. No disrespect to you, but we, you can't be the starting quarterback <laughs> next year, God. You can't, God. You can't. And you know this better than I do. I don't know nothing. <laughs> Gino, do a job. To do, please hold it down, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a deus. Support my man. He's a good guy out here. He's a great family man, great producer. He's doing it out here. It's my brother from another mother. I'm a deus. It's out here. Thank you for listening my to the brother. sit down. I'm in. Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Guys that do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing.